um, another envelope stuffing. Um, before we get into it, um, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that we upload a new video because you never know what we're going to do so you don't want to miss anything. Um, I have my handy dandy little planner here that I have yet to be able to use. So I had made some some cash envelopes um, with the six hole punch. Perfect to go in here. I had not used them. Um, I put some on Etsy and before I knew it, oh my goodness, um, those completely sold out. Those were the, I wanna say Just Beachy, the Coral and Gold. They sold out. Um, I bought it, um, the paper kind of in a big pad. So watch. If you're interested in um, getting some cash envelopes, I may create a Just Beachy set two. Um, so it could be, could prove to be very interesting. Um, I do have the Orchid Hill set, which is some real pretty grays and golds and kind of bronzy. Um, those are available um, both without the six hole punch and with the six hole punch. Um, gosh, I'm just so excited because um, I don't know if it's you guys that are buying these or if it's just people who have found me on Etsy. I don't know. Um, but I did run across, was super excited. I think this is just super adorable. Um, and I'm going to call this Springtime in Paris. Um, these are very limited, guys. So if you like this at all, I definitely would run over and pick these up. Um, I'll have a link to my Etsy shop down below, but look at all of these coordinating colors and we've got like hot pink and regular pink and stripes and argyle and polka dots and the damask and all kinds of stuff. And it's grays, pinks, hot pinks, and kind of a, like a really, really off white. So these are available. Um, supplies are definitely very, very limited because I only found the one package of this paper. And so when I found it, I grabbed it, was like, oh my gosh, these would be so perfect for those envelopes. So um, if you're interested in learning how to, um, to create your own cash envelopes, if you kind of have the time to do that and you like to be crafty and you want to create your own, um, I will, at the end of the video, I'll have a link to last month's cash stuffing um, video where I actually kind of went through a short tutorial on how to create the envelopes. So um, I'm super, super excited um, because I have found like cheaper internet, um, cheaper phone. And so I have revamped my, um, my little spreadsheet here. Um, I actually am going to be able to put $200 more per month toward the um, house principal, toward the mortgage principal. Um, and I only added $50 a paycheck, which is twice a month. Um, to the breakdown. So it's like $2,800 um, that I take out of the checking account every time I get paid. And then we divide this up into our envelopes. So since the Just Beachy um, ones sold out, I have my trusty little like eclectic version of my envelopes that I still have all of my stuff in. So let's just get into it. So first we'll go over kind of the changes that I made. Um, okay. So my, um, all of my energy, um, gas, electric, uh, water, sewer, everything is included in this one. It was 370 a month or 185 twice a month. I got my new internet, which is, oh my goodness. Wonderful. Um, it was a hundred dollars a month. And so I basically, I just took this to, to round it to $2,800. I just went ahead and did this at 500 or 250. So we have that. The wireless phone went from 300 to 250 per month. The TV, oh my gosh, look at this. We were paying $276 for TV and internet. 
it is now $64 because all we have is um, Netflix and Hulu Live and we have the Roku and we have a Fire Stick. So I already have Amazon Prime, so that's completely free. The Roku is free. Um, yeah, we are saving a lot on TV and internet. So groceries remained the same. Dining, we were really having, we're, we were struggling on $166 um, a month or $83 twice a month. So I went ahead and upped that again to kind of round those figures. I upped it to $200 a month and um, $100 every twice a month. So basically, if we play our cards right, we could eat out twice on the $100. So then we go on to gas, that stayed the same, pets stayed the same, birthday, Christmas, mortgage. You see here, it is $1,000. Um, now I've got it at $1,200, so we're going to actually be putting more toward the principal, and I'm super, super excited about that. Um, $600 um, for our vehicle. Um, again, I was just kind of playing with figures because I wanted to make sure kind of have round figures. So the insurance is $1522, $1520, so $760, kind of even out those numbers. And then spending $70 and $40. Yay! I'm so excited excited about having a brand new sheet um, and so what I did was at the bottom this tells me how many hundreds fifties um, twenties tens fives and ones that I need so I put this down here then I copied and pasted that to a, another spreadsheet so all I have to do is cut one of these out every time that I go to get the cash out of the bank um, I'll have to just cut that out, write my check out, give that to the teller, and they know exactly what I need. So now on to the um, stuffing section of this video. So I have my cash breakdown um, spreadsheet. I have all of my trusty little envelopes here that I want to like graduate, retire those and move on to something else. And then I have my cash. So I did notice, cause I always count it when I go through the drive-through. I always count it because you never know, people are human, they make mistakes. But look at this. So this is gonna drive me crazy. I won't do this really on camera if I can at all help it turning all of the faces the same way um, but definitely after I get all of my envelopes stuffed um, if they are not all turned the same way I'll be spending some time after the video making sure that they get turned that way okay so the very first thing is my coma corp center point and it gets two hundred and fifty dollars so there's one two and there's 150 in here so I'll go ahead and grab it 250 all right and I do usually have some leftover cash at the end of the month so I have $61 so this is not hard to make sure that I've got everything in you know I like to have my bills all stacked like hundreds fifties twenties tens fives ones so that everything is easily visible and I know exactly what I've got Okay, so that one is finished. We go on to our phone, which is 125. So 125. And again, we're going to grab what was in there before. I have a little, since I've been saving money on my phone, I do have a little bit extra. And we are talking about maybe doing a little vacation so that might actually come in handy whenever we do our vacation I might like splurge a little bit on something all right so TV I know this says TV and internet when I get my brand new envelopes it will just say TV so $32 so we have 20 30 
one and two. And I have a whole bunch of fives in here for some reason. All right, I will fix that in a little bit. Mm, I don't know if I can wait. Things like this just drive me insane. I just, man. I don't know how I wound up with a lot of fives and stuff in here. Oh well, if I ever need to break anything, then I'll reach for the TV envelope and I should have enough money in here to break something. Okay, groceries, standard. We generally, I give um, Jerry and Elizabeth $150 a week. They go to the grocery store. That's when the $150 is gone, it's gone. That's it. So we have 325. So one, two, three, 20, da, 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 five. One, two, three, 25. Okay, let's see if there's anything. Yes, in here. Okay, so we have a 20, a couple of 10s, fives. How many are excited for the weekend coming up? Dining, y'all, this is my dining envelope every single month. Like we spend it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, cause I don't want to have just a $100 bill. So I'm gonna do five twenties in this so that if we decide that we wanna go out to eat, if I just take $40, we'll try to stay under $40. So one, two, three, four, five. I generally will take like 60 so that I can make sure that we have enough, but we'll try our hardest to stay somewhere between 40 and 50. All right, so gas is next and that is $45. It kind of scared me last month because both of us had to fill up and um, like fully fill our tanks and it left us with $6 and that was like way too close. I was like, oh, if we run out of gas, oh goodness. But we made it and now we have some more money in there. So, all right, pet, $120. All right, going down to birthday. We've not had any birthdays yet this year, but they're coming up. They will start in July. All right, so we should have fives and twenties. Twenty-five dollars a month. All right, and then we have Christmas, which is sixty-three. Two, three, one, two, three. I have like actually um, spent a little bit of our Christmas money. Very, very little. Because I, I try to make Christmas money like go a very long way. Um, and I try to get the best bang for the buck, so to speak. So, I have spent a little bit. Um, I'm super excited. It's always hard to keep a secret. But I have learned that I have to. I just have to. All right, so mortgage, we're gonna do six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna double count that. One, two, three. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that will go in mortgage, and that is actually due. So I have enough to make an additional $100 principal payment this month. All right, then we have our vehicle, which is $300. And again, that's usually due right around the first. So we have enough to make our $600. Insurance. This is when I cry every two, every twice a month. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, seven sixty. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, forty, sixty. Uh, if we didn't have to have insurance, gosh, look how much money I could be putting back in savings. That's just, yeah, that would be so awesome. But if I have a wreck in my car or I get really bad sick or whatever, then I have the insurance that covers me on it. All right, then we have spending, which is 20.35. Actually, the $20 is for Jerry, so I'm gonna keep the, the this for the spending and give him, go ahead and give him a nice crisp $20 bill. So spending goes in here. All right, and that is it. All right, so I have all of my cash envelopes stuffed and I had a couple of comments on last um, last month's video um, where people were not understanding. Um, you know, you take this cash out of your bank account and you know, you don't want to go to like every place and pay with cash. So basically what I do, just to answer questions, um, I take it out so that I can distribute it into the cash envelopes, you know, basically my budget, you know, how I want to spend that money, how I want to be able to spend that money. Um, and then once I sit down and I go, okay, the house payment is due. Okay, the car payment is due. Okay, um, the electric bill is due. Then I go to each one of these envelopes and I pull out the exact amount. Um, with exception of the mortgage and the vehicle. Um, and I go ahead and I, I send off everything to the mortgage company that I have in that envelope at the time. Um, also for the vehicle, I send off everything that I have in that envelope at the time. And so it gives me a little bit extra principal onto that. Um, but like the energy bills, the phone bills, um, things like that, um, actually, I take those exact numbers. Um, I might round, round it up or down. If it's like uh, $120 and 19 cents, I'm gonna take $120. If it's $129 and 50 cents, I'm gonna take $130. So, you know, it all equals out kind of in the end, but I take all of that cash that I'm going to be spending writing checks paying online, whatever I need to pay for that particular time, I get it out of the envelopes and I make a deposit and then I can pay those bills. So I'm not actually going to the mortgage company and giving them $1,000, um, $1,200 in cash. I am actually writing a check, but I take that money and I put it in the bank. So yes, it is a little bit more to, um, to kind of go through all of this, but you know, if you, if you have trouble with, okay, I spend too much eating out. I spend too much at the grocery store. You know, I spend too much here or there. If you allow yourself so much in a budget, then once that money is gone, then it's gone. You know, if you, um, if you say you have a coffee fund, you love Starbucks, you love, you know, different kinds of coffees, things like that. And you want to do maybe $20 every two weeks. I know that's probably super, super low because coffees can get expensive. Um, but if you do that, you allow yourself to still have those things that you want. Um, but at the end of the $20, there's no more. So that gives you like, okay, I can spend this $20. Do I want to go ahead and spend it on the front end? Or do I want to do like a coffee here and then a coffee in about four days and then a coffee in another four days. And by the time, you know, it all rolls around, it's time to put money back in that, that cash envelope. So little different ways of looking at things. Um, and once you kind of get some things paid off, like I'm trying to get the vehicle paid off by paying additional principal, then I can add that to 
my mortgage. Um, so it's kind of a, a snowball effect, if you will. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I will actually have last month's video linked right up here. Um, I'll have another video that you might be interested in right here. And the subscribe button is right there. So make sure you hit it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.